हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू नो आई टॉट थ्री चैप्टर इन पार्टनरशिप एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच एडमिशन ऑफ ए पार्टनर सो लेट अस टेक लेक्चर फर्स्ट पोजीशन ऑफ इनकमिंग न्यू पार्टनर पोजीशन ऑफ इनकमिंग न्यू पार्टनर लिसन admission of a partner refers to entry of a person in the firm as an owner resulting in the increase in number of members in the firm okay as per section 31 31 in bracket 1 of the indian partnership act no new partners can enter into a partnership until the old partners give their assent a new partners after admission will be responsible for all the acts of the firm but he will not be responsible for the acts committed by the firm prior to the his admission under section 31 of indian partnership act the position of a new partner will be as under first he is not liable to pay any debts of the firm incurred before his admission second he cannot be held responsible for the acts of the old partners okay under section 31 of indian partnership act there are two there are two position of a new partners will be as okay under after that when a new partners is admitted technically or legally speaking there is a change in the constitution of the firm in fact on the admission of a new partner the existing partnership agreement comes to an end and a new agreement comes into effect therefore the firm is reconstituted under a fresh agreement a fresh agreement jaise ki dekhiye pehle se partners जैसे कि पहले से फॉर्म में पार्टनर्स डेट मीन्स पर्सन रहते हैं जैसे कि फाइव पर्सन पहले से कार्यरत हैं इन वर्क कर रहे हैं पार्टनर्स के रूप में हैं अब न्यू पार्टनर्स आएगा तो ये फॉर्म में क्या हो जाएगा पर्सन इंक्रीज हो जाएगा पार्टनर्स की संख्या यानी नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स क्या हो जाएगा इंक्रीज हो जाएगा तो पार्टनर्स ऑफ नंबर सॉरी नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स इंक्रीज होगा ओके यानी नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स वो भी इंक्रीजेस एंड आफ्टर दैट सम फैक्ट्स जैसे कि वे फाइव पर्सन जो पहले से पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में थे यानी पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में थे तो जिस दिन वो किसी साझेदार का एडमिशन होता है तो वो साझेदार यानी पार्टनर्स उस दिन से उसकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होती है ना कि ये पहले से जो फाइव पर्सन कार्य करते आ रहे हैं उसकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पहले से हो जाए ऐसे बात नहीं है जिस दिन न्यू पार्टनर्स एडमिशन लेता है उसी दिन से उसकी फॉर्म के ऊपर यानी फॉर्म के ऊपर क्या होती है लाइबिलिटी हो जाती है ओके तो देखिए आफ्टर डैट इफेक्ट ऑफ एडमिशन ऑफ ए न्यू पार्टनर इफेक्ट ऑफ एडमिशन ऑफ ए न्यू पार्टनर फर्स्ट द एडमिशन ऑफ ए न्यू पार्टनर कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द टर्मिनेट of old partnership and the commencement of a new firm second the new partner is entitled to a share in future profit of the firm in effect the combined share of the old partners is reduced number third the effect of admission of a new partner in firm is that there is a change in the relations of the partners partners and 
as a result reconstitution of the partnership form takes less number 4 the number of person increases in the firm and fifth the new partners acquires right of sharing in the future profit of the firm to acquire this right he is generally required to bring his share of goodwill also called premium the amount of goodwill is to be shared by the old partners in their sacrificing ratio number 6 the new partners acquire right of sharing in the asset of the firm to acquire this right he uh, he usually brings in an aggregate amount of capital in cash or kind or both number 7 the effect of addition of a partner is that the capital base of the firm increases and the firm is in the position to have experienced persons for the management or working of the firm last number 8 the firm's reputation is enhanced by admitting influential and reputed person into the firm there are eight there are eight effect okay there are eight effect when admission of a new partner okay after that need for admission of a new partner no after uh, need for admission of a new partner need for admission of a new partners need for admission need for admission of a new partner okay need for admission of a new partners if new partners is admitted for the following reasons there are following reasons okay number first when more capital is, uh, is needed for the expansion of business and existing partners consider themselves incapable to meet the requirements number two when there is need for a uh, competent and experienced persons for the management and working of the firm and number third when the reputation of the firm is to be enhanced by admitting influential and uh, reputed persons into the firm number four last when it is considered these rebels to admit uh, admit any competent and decided no decided no dedicated dedicated employees as a partners of the firm so there are four regions there are four regions for admission of a partners okay there are four regions for admission of a partner yeah need for admission of a partner okay after that many adjustments on admission of a new partners next point main adjustment on main adjustment on admission of a partner Okay. Yeah. Main adjustment on admission of partner. Main adjustment on admission of partner or main adjustment on admission of 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 a new partner. Okay. There is also. Listen. when a partner is admitted into partnership form a new partnership date is prepared of course if required if required from accounting point of view 
a number of adjustments are to be made in the books of the firm. These adjustments related with the following problems. First, computation of new profit sharing ratio. Second, calculation of sacrificing ratio. Third, accounting treatment of goodwill as for accounting standard 26. Fourth number, revaluation of asset and liabilities. Fifth number, distribution of reserve, general reserve, accumulated profit and losses. Sixth number, adjustment of capitals. Adjustment of capitals. So there are six, okay. There are six adjustment on admission of a new partners. After that, one of the effect of admission of a new partners is that there is a chance in profit sharing ratio of the exiting partners with the result some may gain and some may loss. In the context of admission of a new partner, context of admission of a new partner, we have to compute the following ratio, new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio. Computing, there are two ratio, first new profit sharing ratio and second sacrificing ratio. Okay. After that, there is other point that is computation of new profit sharing ratio. Computation, yani how to calculate new profit sharing ratio. Take, take and see. Uh, meaning, first uh, new profit sharing ratio. You know what do you mean by new profit sharing ratio? Yani what is new profit sharing ratio? The its answer. Its answer. Like listen. The ratio in which all partners, including new partner, share the profits and losses is called the new profit sharing ratio. The ratio in which all partners, including new partner, share the profit and losses is called the new profit sharing ratio. Okay. On the admission of a new partner, the profit and loss sharing ratio of the old partners changes. Hence, it is necessary to calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Okay, finding out new profit, uh, new ratio, finding out new ratio. Okay, a number remaining shares, remaining share is equal to 1 minus new partner sharing, uh, new partner share in profits. Many number a remaining shares is equal to any how to remaining share, any how to calculate remaining share. So, remaining share is equal to 1 minus. 1 minus new partners sharing profit b number new share of old partners new share of old partner is equal to first remaining share into old ratio second old share minus sec, uh, share sacrificed old share minus sacrificed okay the new partner may bring in capital in form of cash goods or property generally the capital is brought in cash so interest for bringing in cap uh, bringing in of capital adjustment and interest what is the journal entry on bringing in a capital uh, first when capital is brought in cash cash or bank account debit to new partners capital account narration being cash brought in by, uh, by new partners as capital as capital Number second, when capital is brought in the form of goods or property or asset, you know, asset account debit, asset account debit, property account debit, either of them, okay, so asset account debit or property account debit to new partners capital account, narration, being asset or goods brought in by new partners as capitals, okay. So, dear students, these are lectures related to admission of a partner. This was for today and tomorrow I will teach you and I will tell you also other topic that relate to rules and regulations. Okay. Uh, uh, you are requested by me. Uh, this lectures 
you have to listen okay and note in your notebook if if you have necessary if you think this is necessary okay this was for today thank you thank you very much